Hey, this is Warren Redlick. We rode Waymo. We rode Waymo in Chandler, Arizona, just outside Phoenix. Part of our Inspiration 420 drive across the country, which raised over $20,000 for St. Jude. On the way, we stopped in Chandler, Arizona. We rode Waymo twice. It was myself. It was the wonderful K10, a.k.a. Kristen, and my brother Steve. And we rode in the Waymo, and I've got two different videos patched together. I sped up the boring segments. I included some of our conversation. I got some nice background music for you. See what you think of it. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you what I think of it. Hint, I didn't think it was that great. Are you ready? Let's go. The Waymo is arriving. We are going for a Waymo ride. Interesting choices. They got a button. We ready? I think you need to close the door, Steve. I close this button, so. It says Omar, I think you need to close the door. Okay. That's lame. Oh, maybe you press the button to close the doors and start riding. Gas powered, right? Yeah. I'm curious to see what happens if I take the seatbelt off. Does it know? It doesn't notice I took the seatbelt off. Yeah. Well, they don't have enough 
enough data to learn how to drive better by machine learning. Is messing with us? Proceeding on West Avenue. That's pretty bad. He's probably going to send us in a circle. <laughs> Just felt right, three left. No, we're just doing right turn. And then we're going to go, and then we got three left. The green is already. No, right here, Steve. Oh, oh. Look, look here. Oh, you can see it on your screen. I didn't realize when I changed my screen, it changed yours. I shouldn't do that. Is driving FSD that restful that you don't feel tired after a long drive, or do you still feel tired after a long drive, or do you not do long drives? No, I do long drives. I drive. Do you feel it's like because you have FSD, it's more restful? You don't feel as tired when you're driving? At night, especially at night. Yeah. It becomes an handy when like, you're trying to drive through the two or three o'clock hour. And yeah. It really helps you. Like, but you still have to like keep the window or the air cool. And yeah, yeah. On. But it definitely helps me. I mean, it is helpful, but I like to drive a little faster. So mm -hmm. I find that, I mean, I can pin it at it, but you see how long it wants to take. Right. I mean, it makes a good decision just about as the average person, but I like to make the decision quick and move over and get right. fast. So. And so it is getting a lot more aggressive. That is with these two last builds. Yeah. I found it was a lot more aggressive, which helps because I think he's putting it in chill mode and sport mode. Mm. So in the future, on the FSD beta button, or the FSD button, there'll mm -hmm. be options in a different mode of drive, which is good. Mm -hmm. Sees that pedestrian. It's definitely, you know, obviously good at seeing objects. It noticed the light change. I 
so he pulled up and stopped where it was going. It's a person. I think so. I think, he, I think we're just going to switch out. Where's the car? They're right back there. Connected to rider support. This call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is your friend for rider support. Can you call me for the seatbelt while riding my mom? Sorry, say that again. Put your seatbelt on. Good test there, Warren. Proceeding on West Southern Avenue. I didn't know it was required in the back seat. I don't think it says anything. Or so if they had to have to get it somewhere that it can't drive, right. and the human drives it there. For service or errors. I mean, they had that happen. I watched a video where they left the big shop where they have to have it. Didn't one of them run away? 
in San Francisco. I don't remember hearing it that. It broke out of the geofence and out of the interstate. Far out. I want to be free. <laughs> I think somebody just got in the front seat and started driving it. Can you imagine being in it while it decides to shake out the road? Fancy that with the set of Silicon Valley where he gets in a, in a, in a have you seen that one? No. He gets into a, a smart car that, or like a artificial intelligence self-driving car and drives into the boat docks and right into a shipping container. <laughs> Connected to rider support. This I mean, call may be recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is Diane with Limo Rider Support. And the reason I was calling is I need the seat belt to uh, press in the back to be all the way worn properly. You, you want it so it'll cut my head off in an accident? <laughs> Thank you. It is for your safety. Thanks. Have a great day. So for those who are, if, if we retain this audio, the uh, seat belt is up against my throat in an uncomfortable position. This is not a camera above the pull over thing. And the buttons on the set top center. So in the end, what I felt was, number one, it was awkward. It didn't drive smoothly. It made some odd decisions. Instead of making what would be a normal left turn, it made three right turns and kind of went out of its way to get where it was going. It stopped and dropped us off in the middle of the street. By comparison, FSD Beta, Omar was riding his, his vehicle, which is now my vehicle, along the same route, and it got there quicker and it dropped them off in the parking lot. Waymo did not go into the parking lot. It dropped us off on the street, basically stopped in the middle of a street. Not really an ideal location to stop. Unclear why it does that. Um, the customer service interaction, there was some issue with my seatbelt. That seemed odd. The interior of the vehicle was not very impressive. Overall, the cost of a Waymo vehicle, I think it's something like a couple hundred thousand to four hundred thousand dollars. You amortize that over the life of the vehicle and you end up with like four dollars a mile cost for them to actually operate the thing so it doesn't scale. It only works in a very limited area. There's all kinds of problems. And at the same time, FSD is scaling. It's on millions of vehicles already or over a million vehicles. FSD beta is now to 2000 people all across the country. I've driven FSD beta. FSD beta is not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. And it's growing and it's getting more experience. It's getting exposed to a lot more circumstances. Far, It can drive anywhere, basically, where Waymo is extremely limited. I don't see any prospect for Waymo scaling to be able to reach large audiences and serve large numbers of people 
or to make money because it costs so much to operate they lose money on every ride so you lose money on every ride make it up in volume i don't know what the plan is there it's a real problem fsd is setting a clear path forward tesla's full self-driving robo taxi future software is not great yet it's pretty darn good it's pretty impressive still has some issues to work out and we talk about that in other videos but i just wanted to say you know i just didn't think waymo was that impressive so i want to thank the vasa law firm in sweden and all my patreon supporters for helping this channel grow i want to thank i want to thank omar k10 and my brother for participating in our journey um please check out my book fair dui check out elonbits.com for the t-shirts and the other merch and thank you so much for watching